Okay, we're going to do roots and powers using the TI-36X Pro. All right, so when we take the square root of eight, there's a number here uh, called an index, in this case, in the index of two. Here, the square root will be above the x, x squared key, so we gotta press second and then x squared. So here, to do the square root of eight, we press second, and then we press the x squared button to get the square root, and you can see the square root here. We press eight, and then enter, and it gives us a reduced answer. The square root of eight is the square root of, the two square root of two. How? Well, eight can be four times two, square root of four is two, and then we're left with the square root of two. Okay, um, one way uh, to um, change this to an answer of 2.828 is to go up on this pad, go up again, copy this number by pressing enter, highlight this, right, press enter, and then move the arrow, the cursor, so you'll be underneath the radical, and this cursor changes to an arrow, press period, Enter, and it gives you 2.0284, okay? So you can do that. I'm wondering if you move up here, this one, can you put a period there? You probably can. Enter, yeah, you can, all right? So there's some ways to do it. Um, using the fraction to decimal does not work, apparently, on this. On this, on this particular calculator, but there, there's another TI that does work on it. Um, I think it's, let me see. Um, it might be this one, the TI-30X uh, 2S that does that. I do have a video on that one. Okay, let's do the fifth root of half. Hmm. To do that, we're going to have an index of five. Here, if you look at X to the box on the top is the nth root, right, of a number. So we're going to type in 5 first, second, x to the box. So now that 5 becomes an index, right, or uh, the fifth root of half. So you can type 1, right, you can use the fraction button, 2, and then enter. And that gives you 0.8705. You can also do, you can type 5, second, right, x to the boss, box, <laughs> 1 divided by 2, you can, do, you can use a division, enter, same answer. Okay, this one here, right, we got 3, take away, this is the fourth root of 8. So uh, we can go second, x to the box, uh, and here... You know, I didn't have to type the 4. It, it gave me the option now to give me the 4. And then I move over, right? I got to move over inside the radical, 8. Enter, 1.3182. In this video, we're not going to talk about how many numbers you need after the decimal place. That's going to be your teacher to tell you. Okay, let's do this one. So this is going to be second x squared to give you the square root. 12, move the cursor over to the right, plus, second, x squared, and then type 27, and then press enter. And this one gives you 5 square root of 3. Uh, why? Because 12 is 4 times 3, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 3, 27 is 9 times 3, um, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 3, the radicals are the same, you add the numbers, right? And it gives you five square root of three. So you can go up, you can copy that, you can move the cursor over, put a period, enter, and gives you 8.660, okay? And like I mentioned before, let's do it anyway. If we take this and we go second FD, which is the almost equal sign here, Let's see, it doesn't do it. It doesn't change it. Just in case. Okay. 
So this one, <clears throat> we can type negative, right? And we can put a five second, right? X to the box. So it's a fifth root of what? 16. Then get out of that by pressing this tab, this um, D tab, I guess, this um, pad, right? You, you push it over to the, to the right, then divide. 14, enter, negative 0 0.124, okay. If you're liking this content, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, please tell your friends, please tell your teacher um, about this video. And there's a lot more to this channel as well. Okay, three squared, so three squared. Here's the squared button, enter, pretty straightforward, nine, nine to the fifth, nine right and then we're going to press x to the box to the fifth power enter and that's 59049 then here negative four times three squared this one press negative then the four times three squared enter negative 36 so three squares nine negative four times nine it's doing the order of operation correctly all right, let's look at this. Negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared. Enter. Negative 5 squared is giving you negative 25. Some calculators will give you positive 25. So what it's doing is it's just multiplying 5 times 5 and it's leaving the takeaway or the negative sign. Why? Because some problems have 7 take away 5 squared. 7 take away 5 squared right enter gives you minus 18 so 5 squared is 25 don't forget the negative 7 take away 25 is negative 18 okay so here 2 right and then x to the box negative 3 enter gives you 1 over 8 now let's see if we can press second and this um, almost equal enter okay this time it did it so it took the fraction and we're able to put 0 0.125, 0 0.125. If I go up here, right, with the D-pad and then enter, can I change, can I put a period at the 8? Yes, and it still does it. Okay, now 3 to the 1 fourth is equivalent to the, uh, the fourth root of 3 because this 4 can go down as a fraction. These are equivalent to each other. So we got a power and a root, and you can see that this is why we study these two ideas together. So three, okay, one fourth. So we press uh, X box to give us that power. And then we can press the fraction button. Mm -hmm. One, scroll down, four, enter, 1.316. And then the fourth root of three. So we press in four, second, x to the box. So the fourth root of what? Three, enter, 1.316. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, please. Okay, next one. Two to the third divided by five squared to the power of two. So, parentheses, two to the power, right? Which will be here to the third. You gotta move over, bring it down, divide, five squared, close it, and then square it. Enter. It gives you a fraction 64 over 625. Why? Two to the third is eight, five squared is 25, but there's a square. Eight squared, 64. 25 squared, 625. Now I want 64 over 625, which is reduced. I want it as a fraction, no problem. Second, um, almost equal button, right? So it's taking the last answer and it's changing it from a fraction to a decimal. Enter, 0 0.1024. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> That's a lot of math, okay? A lot of steps. Keep in mind 
that I've been doing this for a long time. And so it's a little bit more easier for me. For you, if that was going too fast, then you know, pause the video, write it down, see if some of the steps make sense. Okay? Some of these calculators, they do different things in terms of the way you program the calculator. Okay? And that's one other thing too about these things. Don't forget that the calculator is not an answer machine. Okay? It's more for checking for your understanding and to give you a sense of like I'm achieving something. Of course, some of these problems is, is harder to do, like three to the one fourth getting an answer, right? But to reduce uh, something like the square root of eight or two to the minus three, which is really one over eight, right? Those things can be done by hand and you just have to appreciate what you can do by hand and what the calculator can enhance that with you. Um, so take your time. Don't be in a rush. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe, tell your teacher, tell your friends. And I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.